poppin' internet, your boy Justin here again as always, aka Adobe One Kenobi, here with another video tutorial. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't already, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It means a lot to me. So without further ado, today we're gonna be talking about five trippy music video effects that you can achieve within Premiere Pro with absolutely no plugins. So let's get right into it. So the first effect we're gonna be talking about today is the echo effect. Okay, so now that you're in Premiere Pro, go over to your effects channel and search for echo, drop that on your clip, and you'll see you have a few different options here. You've got echo time, number of echoes, starting intensity, DK, and echo operator. So because this effect increases the exposure of the clip, I'll usually set the echo operator to maximum because it sort of just counteracts that. All right, so echo time is the amount of time in between echoes. Number of echoes is obviously how many times it will be repeating. So you'll notice when I play it back, there's sort of a stream of repeating elements, kind of like an echo would be with audio. And finally, it's cool to play around with the keyframes. I like to keyframe the echo time so it starts normal and then over time it adds more echoes. It looks really cool in my opinion. All right, so the second effect we're gonna be touching on today is called the VR Digital Glitch. Okay, so go ahead to your effects panel and search for VR Digital Glitch and drop it on your clip. And now you'll notice that sort of glitch elements pop up on your clip. And if we go over to our effects control panel, we have a few different options. We don't really have to worry about these top ones because they don't do too much. What we're gonna be focusing on is the distortion dropdown menu. So go ahead and click that. So color distortion is sort of like an RGB split. You can notice when I play around with it, it adds sort of like a red and green outline. Now the next few are just basically the X and Y axis. So you can move the glitches up and down or left or right. So just play around with these, see what looks best for the effect you're going for. Now you'll notice distortion complexity sort of removes or adds more of those pixels. So if you want a lot of them, go ahead and crank it up. If you don't want too many, lower it. Now distortion evolution sort of moves them around so you can keyframe that and get some movement to the pixels. And again, if you wanna keyframe these, go ahead. It looks pretty cool when the pixels are moving around. Just sort of gives you a glitchy effect. All right, so coming in at number three is the change color and leave color effect. These are actually two different effects, but for the sake of having a top five, I combine them together. So let's get into it. All right, so the first one we're gonna be looking at is change color. So go to your effects panel and search up change color. Now, if you go over to your effects control panel, you'll notice you have a color picker. So go ahead, click that and then pick the most predominant color in your scene. For me right now, it's purple. And then you'll notice if we play around with the hue transform, the color starts to switch, but it's only in a specific part of the video. So we're gonna wanna go down and crank up the matching tolerance. And now you'll notice if we play around with the hue transform again, the entire scene is changing. So if we set it at zero, hit a keyframe, move it over a bit, and then change that hue transform value, we will have a smooth color change throughout the entire video. All right, so the next one we have is leave color. So drop that on your clip and you'll notice we have a color picker as well. Select the color from the scene that you want to isolate. For me, it's the green bikini here on this girl. And then we're gonna select the drop down menu beside match colors and change it from using RGB to using hue. This is just going to make sure the program knows that we wanna isolate all greens, not the specific color that we chose. And now go up to amount to decolor. This is gonna basically make anything that's not the color you selected black and white. And then you can play around with your tolerance and that just sort of is fine tuning. All right, so number four on the list today is an effect called VR Chromatic Aberrations. All right, so go ahead and search for VR Chromatic Aberrations, drop that on your clip. So this one's basically like another RGB split, but you have a lot more control over it. We can affect the reds, and it's sort of distorting them as opposed to just shifting them, it's kind of rounding them out, which gives you a lot more control than a regular RGB split. And I find it really nice to keyframe the point of interest so you get kind of a moving RGB split. If you notice I play it here, it sort of starts off really wacky and then kind of gets back to normal. Okay, so the final effect we're gonna be touching on today, it's a simple one, but very effective when used properly. It's called lens distortion. Okay, so go ahead and search lens distortion on your effects panel, drop that onto your clip. Now go up to your properties and you'll see you have a few different ones. So we've got curvature, which sort of gives you like a fisheye bubble effect. Then we've got vertical decentering. So that just kind of moves the fisheye effect left to right. 
Now we have horizontal decentering, which is the same thing except going up and down. Now this effect works particularly well with keyframing because you can kind of use it as a transition. You start off normal and then sort of zoom into the fisheye and then your next clip will start at the fisheye and zoom out and it works really well. So you can do a lot of cool things with this. You've just got to play around with the properties. And there you have it folks, five trippy music video effects that you can achieve instantly inside Premiere Pro with no plugins. Let me know what your favorite one was in the comment below. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up. And finally, if you want weekly content, hit that subscribe button. Thanks a lot. Peace.